Okay, let's look how many calories it is. 22, fat, 12. Good. Let's look at other ones. Protein. 30, 20. So obviously more protein. Okay. Let's go to puppy food. Like here, diamond puppy food. Let's look at the protein. I have to put it. So, 31 and fat 20%. Okay, let's go. Yams for puppies. It's pretty expensive actually. Puppy, large breed. What does it say? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, not even find information. Ingredients here. One sec. Protein, 28, fat, 14. I recommend to feed puppies of our breed, of any large breed, with adult food, where protein is no more than 27%. Taste of the Wild, it's a good brand. So this one is a high prairie. So let's look at the protein. 32, fat, 18. Too much. Too much for puppies, they will grow too fast. This is a uh, orange one, Taste of the Wild, and it says puppy recipe. Protein, 28, 17. I still would go a little bit low for a puppies. So go back to Walsam's, uh, located in Indiana. So what is it here? 23. 13, that's good. They did have a recall two years ago. I think 40 dogs died because it was some kind of uh, mold infection in the grains. But every dog food have a recall, so you just need to watch out. My dogs really like this food. This is a sport dog. It's uh, our local brand. Sometimes I mix dog, our dog food like a better, better grade with this one. It's not bad. This is uh, 2618. So this is a puppy pedigree. Pedigree is not a good brand. So protein 27. But just look what is it made from. What's the main ingredient? The first ingredient is the main ingredient. Ground whole grain corn. So it's mostly made from corn. Then it goes chicken. If you look at this one, which is like I said, cheap local stuff. They start with a poultry meal. Meal it's kind of like a powder. And then they had a green wheat and everything like that. So if it's a not meat, the first ingredient, it means that food is not meat. That's it. I do like I do like Victor. It's made uh, in the United States. And um, it's not very expensive. They have a variety of foods, grain free with the grains, they have a big bags like 50 pound and the prices is like 44 50 plus bucks and it's a good food let's look at ingredients so victor yellow bag this is what i mostly buy for normally active dogs and it's uh 22 10 it's a, it's a good good stuff most of the time I just mix different foods because no reason to feed same food all the time. It's better to mix different tastes, different meats type. If you feed the dog same stuff all the time, this is why they can develop allergy. 
because it's the same, same, same for years. How you would feel? People do like Purina because they think if they have this dog on a fodder, they need to feed this food, which is really not true. Or it's like if it's have like a setter, Irish setter on it, it means they okay, we will buy this food. Or something, it's just, it's expensive food. Ingredients are often from China, which is no reason to, right? And uh, let's look at some ingredient. So this is the puppy. Purina, it's 60, $65 dollars without tax, and uh, it's a 28% 18. What is it made with? Chicken, rice, poultry. I was just reading that a lot of the ingredients are from uh, China. I don't know what for. It's up to you, but this is uh, too much protein in this one. 